Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're going to have a look at three ways in which we can make edits, but keep the overall timing, so the duration and the timing of our other cuts within our edit. So the first one is, is we need to remove a clip from our timeline. If we just press the delete key, it's actually going to pull everything back on our timeline. So I'm just going to undo that. If we want to delete a clip and we press forward delete, or if you're on a laptop that doesn't have the forward delete button, so forward delete will be on a full keyboard, just to the left of the end key, then you can hold down shift and hit delete, and that will delete your clip and leave a blank space there. If you want to move that clip, but leave the space there and then perhaps use this clip in another part of our edit, then we would move to the position tool. So if we come to our tools here, we can jump to the position tool. And then if we click on this clip and lift it up, it's going to leave that gap there. We can move this to a different spot in our timeline or to the end of our clip and then we will still have that timing for all those other edits intact. If we just undo that, if we want to change the position of an edit point for one of these clips, so we just want to nudge it left or right, then we can use the trim tool for that. So if we come to our trim tool or tap T for the trim tool, we can select an edit point and then move this. And you can see that as I move that, the rest of the timeline is unchanged. So basically it's just changing these two edit points and in our viewer we can see where the first clip is going to end and where the second clip is going to begin. So this is really useful for instance here we can see the kind of beat of this edit is just a moment before the surfer comes into view. So if we use the trim tool we can just drag that a little bit further ahead in time and that will mean that we get that edit just at the right moment. Also with the trim tool another trick you can do is if you're clip is not quite starting at the, the right moment. So for this clip where we're kind of moving from behind this bush, we might want to reveal a bit more of this resort hotel in the background. So I'm actually going to come a little bit further to the beginning of my clip. And if I click and hold and drag to the left, you can see I'm changing the in point of my clip. So up in the viewer at the top there, you can see where the clip is going to start and where it's going to end. So we're just going to have this so it ends where we can get that full view of those buildings on the sea there. So we've used the trim tool to either move an individual edit point or to change where a clip starts and ends, but keeping it at the same time. So these are really useful tips if you're wanting to refine your edits, get that exact timing of clips on the timeline. And again, if you have any questions in Final Cut Pro, then please do leave them in the comments below.